This is going to be a demo of setting up the Silent Way voice controller for calibration in Cubase. I'm using Cubase 5.5 here. This is the hardware setup I'm going to use for this uh, tutorial. We've got uh, a modular synth connected to a Motu Ultralight. Um, so there are various connections coming out of the Ultralight. Uh, at the bottom, the main output pair is just going into my patch bay that's routed straight back into the uh, monitor speakers so we can hear stuff. Um, the two outputs at the top, uh, outputs one and two. Output one is routed to the oscillator pitch CV there and output two is routed to the gate input of the uh, envelope generator. And the input to the ultralight is analog input three, and that is coming from the output of the VCA. So it's a perfectly simple um, VCO envelope generator VCA patch uh, connected to the ultralight for this demo. So we'll start by uh, setting up some input and output connections. Uh, we're not gonna use the stereo input uh, so we'll delete that. So what we want is a mono input, which is going to receive the input from the synth. So we'll call this synth in. And that's going to be taking input from analog three on the uh, ultralight, which is the first non-mic channel. For outputs, uh, we're going to have a stereo output, which is the main outs, so we can hear what's going on. And we're also going to have a 5.1 bus, which is going to be the outputs of our CVs from Silent Way. So we'll call it CVs out. And that's going to be uh, analog 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 uh, out of the ultralight. And that's fine. Um, we're also going to need a 5.1 group uh, for routing, which I'll explain later. And Having added the group, we'll right mouse on it, add child bus to group one, and then add mono child buses. So we can uh, route things into the various places in the group, which is useful. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, and also we'll bring up the mixer now. So you can see things happening as they happen. Okay, so first off, we're going to add a uh, mono audio track which is simply going to route the synth into the into Cubase so we can hear it. Sorry, monitor. Um, and we'll enable the listen button. And this is literally going to have the synth in to the stereo out so we can hear what's happening. Uh, and if you wanted to record the audio at some point, this is obviously how you do that too. Uh, so if I just uh, trigger the synth manually, We've got now slide audio coming in there. Okay, the next thing we're going to want is a 5.1 track to insert Silent Way itself on. So 5.1, a track, and we'll call this track Silent Way. And then on the inputs, insert, sorry, we'll insert Silent Way voice controller, which has appeared over here. Uh, now we need to get the synth into Silent Way uh, so it can listen to the synth for calibration. So we're going to have another, or another mono audio track. Like so, and that's going to take input from the synth. And now we're going to route that to our group that we made. Then on the Silent Way channel, we can take input from the group and route the output to the CVs out uh, set of outputs. So in our mixer now, just move that over a little bit. We've got a group, that's a 5.1 group. That's the things, that's the mono group so we can hear it. That's the 
it's 5.1 channel that's routing that's got silent way on it and this is the mono channel that's routing the synth into silent way and then we're going to want to put the listen um, icon on all of those then finally we're going to add a midi track so we can actually play the synth later on uh, and we're going to have all the MIDI inputs and then the output of the MIDI track goes to Silent Way, which is inserted on that track there. So we'll do that. Now at this point, uh, because the gate doesn't need any calibration and that's triggered by MIDI, we can just uh, trigger some MIDI notes and that should trigger the synth to play a uh, note on and off, which you can see it does. So. Um, if I just bring the plug-in window over a little bit, you can see the, env the envelopes animating. And in the mixer, you can see now on the Silent Way channel, uh, the six levels that correspond by default to pitch, gate, the envelopes, and the trigger signal. OK. Um, so the next thing to do is hit Calibrate, which is this button. And what we should hear is a rising series of pitches, and as it the pitch which is rise, we'll see a graph drawn in the calibration window here. So there we go. So now if we play MIDI, we can make a scale. Success. Now, um, now we've calibrated it, we can save that calibration uh, to disk, which is just this simple text file. And then if we want to uh, use that in the future, we don't need to go through all this rigmarole with routing audio into the voice controller. You can just load up the voice controller. You can load it up um, as an instrument, even if you want. Voice controller VSTI. There we go. Uh, and then we can load that calibration and just use it. So there you go. That's how to set up Silent Wave Voice Controller in Cubase.